Hey Pisces and welcome to the Angel Cooperative channel. My name is Liza and I'm here to do your monthly tarot horoscope for February 2020. Um, happy birthday to some of you Pisces that are going to be celebrating at the end of the month. Um, and also happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, especially this is the month of love. So um, I always love this month with Valentine's Day and I also like to focus the energy of the reading this month on um, love and relationships so that way we can see what's coming in for all my Pisceans. Um, also a reminder to check out your other signs, uh, your moon sign, your sun, this is your sun sign or your moon sign, Ven Venus or rising sign because you're also connected with those energies and sometimes um, those readings may resonate with you just as much or even better than your sun sign. So keep that in mind. All right, so Pisces, let's see what we got have coming in for you guys for February. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups reversed, and the Two of Pentacles. All right. And the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for this reading is the Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, so let's also pull some clarifications with the Lenormand deck to see what's coming in for Pisces for the month of February so we can clarify the cards that are on the table. We have the key, the lady, the stork, and the garden. And also on the bottom of the deck, we have the letter. Okay, so let me just pull a few runes and see what um, other clarifications need to come through for Pisces for this month. Okay, let's see how this is blank. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, we have your overall energy this month being the Eight of Cups reversed. And the Eight of Cups reversed is um, it's definitely a period of where you're not sure where to go or where, what you're looking for. Um, I feel like you're, you know, there could be a situation that you've already walked away from um, that you're you're kind of still held, holding on to that energy for some reason. Um, I do feel like there is some sadness over something that has come to an end. Um, and of course, we have the letter connected with that as well. So I do feel like with, you know, there is some communication that's still going on, possibly with maybe a past relationship or a past situation that has possibly didn't end on a good note. I do feel like things... Um, there may be some things still that need to be said or some some ends that need still to be tied up, some loose ends. Like it just feels that there is this sense of uncertainty about like what you're moving on, like basically where you're going and where you're moving on to. Um, I do sense there is a little bit of confusion here um, this month, but this is more about your focus. Um, and I do feel like this could be for relationships for a lot of you Pisces. So um, do keep that in mind. But I, I do feel like there is something that you're you're holding on to some energy from a past relationship. And I feel like there maybe some things were left unsaid or maybe that you maybe just need to like, you know, release it. Um, I do feel like you have to release your energy so that way you can move on. You don't want to be holding on to this stagnant energy because you want to bring in new. So you don't want to be holding on to that. Um, you know, especially as we start out the, you know, the month, we have the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is, you know, being guarded, being guarded with your finances. Um, it could be even that maybe you're, you're feeling like, you know, you're not really content or confident with where you are at financially. Um, this could also be, um, you know, being very protective, um, being protective of yourself, being protective of like basically your possessions, um, you know, because as you can see with this, 
with this crow here, he's holding on to these, you know, onto these pentacles and, and it's almost like he's not willing to let them go. So it's kind of like you're being very guarded and being very protective. It could be being protective of yourself or being protective of others. But I do feel like, um, you know, this is a situation that you're kind of feeling like it's a necessary thing that you have to do because you do have the key here. And the key is, you know, maybe it's even wanting to lock something behind closed doors, wanting to um, protect something from being um, either taken or or maybe even putting money into savings. I feel like that could also be, you know, possibly putting it under lock and key in a, um, a you know, a place where nobody can get to it or like there's no way that, you know, you can be pulling funds out of it. It's something that you're maybe making investments. Um, but I do feel like for even for some of you relationship wise, this could even be that you're just very guarded. Um, you're very guarded with yourself. You're almost like not willing to open yourself up um, unless you find the right person coming towards you. Um, and I do feel like guarded in a sense that you're just protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from getting hurt again. And I feel like it's because it's still tied to the energy from this past relationship that's making you feel this way. Um, we do have the blank rune together with that. So there is this like fear of the unknown, fear of like, you know, what's going to happen. And I feel like that's why you're very guarded. It's like you don't trust. Um, it's almost like you don't even trust in the universe and what the universe is bringing you. But it's also you don't trust others. You're not trusting people and what their intentions are and what they're saying to you. It's like you are very guarded and also very, um, I feel like it's almost like a skeptical energy. Like you're not trusting and you're not feeling like you can open yourself up. But the thing is, you know, with the key, this is really up to you. If you're willing to, you have the key, you hold it. Um, if you're willing to open yourself up or if you're willing to lock yourself away, it's really, really entirely up to you at this point, like where you're going to see yourself going. We do have the nine of cups here and the nine of cups is also, you know, going after your wishes and your dreams and your hopes and, and, you know, really like focusing in on what it is that you want. And, um, and really setting those intentions because you do have the lady here and, you know, she feels very confident and she feels very, you know, very proud of herself and the way that she is and all her accomplishments. You know, she's dressed up very regally like she, you know, she definitely attracts a good amount of attention. And I do feel like, you know, Pisces this month, you are going to be attracting that attention. But the thing is, it's like you're really focused in on what it is that you want. You're not focused in on other people's energies. So I do feel like that is very much coming into play this month. And it could be why you're also very guarded. It may, for some people may feel like you're closed off, but it's not really that you're closed off. It's just that you don't trust people and you don't know how to let other people in. Um, but we do have the movement rune. So I do feel like with movement, um, you know, as you're looking, because I do feel like you're actively trying to find what it is that you want. Um, but you're actually making um, new movements in a better direction. And it's actually going after the things that you see yourself being happy with, um, which is really good. And I do feel like that is a positive direction. And um, and it's kind of where you want to see yourself going. Um, we also have here the Ten of Cups reversed. And the Ten of Cups reversed is paired with the Stork here. And also we have disruption. So I do feel like there is some sense of not having that connection. It's like you're, I feel like there is communication going on here with maybe more than one person. It could be even that you're um, looking for love, but maybe I just feel like it's like looking for love in all the wrong places just came up out of my mind. I feel like it's like so obvious and it's right there, but you keep like searching and looking, but it's like you're not seeing it. Um, and I feel like there is like somebody that is like connected to you in some way that you're possibly not even seeing them in that way, um, which is interesting because we, you know, with the disruption room, this is all about... Um, it's like something, an uncontrolled force, like something is coming in either to create 
destruction or it's almost like the ter um the tower card you know this this rune is very similar to the tower card where like it's uncontrolled changes that are happening and i do feel like there is going to be this shift in movement here where something is going to happen it's almost going to like flip your world upside down a little bit where you're going to be seeing things like oh i didn't look at it that way before um and it could be something a situation that maybe you didn't even see or even expect that it was going to happen. So this could be a surprise coming in, actually. I do feel like, it, you know, the storks also are bearers of good news. Um, and it could be somebody coming towards you. Um, it could be um, new news that come in that may actually surprise you or shock you um, where you're not expecting it. Um, this is more towards the middle, the end of the month. So um, do keep your mind out for it. I mean, do keep your eyes out for that because I do feel like there is, I don't feel like it's entirely bad um, for some of you may think, especially with this rune, it's, you know, oh my gosh, is it going to be something really bad happening? I don't feel like that because with the stork here, it is saying that there is going to be good news coming in. Something good, but I feel like it's going to be a surprise to you. Something that you're not expecting. It's almost like you're you weren't looking at it in that way. And all of a sudden now you're changing the way that you see things. It could even be that somebody that you thought was the right person. Now you're seeing them for who they really are or vice versa. It could be somebody that you weren't even considering. Now you're looking at them in a different way. So um, it could, of course, for each of you will definitely resonate differently. But, you know, as we come towards the end of the month, we do have a choice or decision to make. We have the two of pentacles here, and that's also a very, um, it's like kind of like a juggling energy where um, you're going to be trying to figure out how to make something work, um, but like creating balance too because you know the two of pentacles is also about like trying to balance things out in your life and trying to you know especially with it could be with finances too but I do feel like it could even be where you're you know dating two different people at the same time and trying to create the balance and trying to figure out what it is that you want um and I feel like you know it's more about like innocent dating it's not like you're seriously committed to either one of them I feel like it's kind of just getting yourself out there um, meeting people, getting to know people. We have the garden. So the garden is also about creating abundance and also, you know, planting your seeds and trying to figure out like where you need to plant them and what do you want to grow and what do you want to create in your life? Um, and I do feel like for some of you Pisces, this is career minded. This is more about money flow. Um, you know, having that balance in your life, you know, before you, you know, you want to deposit money, you want to make sure that you're saving and you're not just spending and you want to be, um, being more mindful of what it is that you have, um, in the bank. Um, this is more about finances and like, you know, creating that balance in your life where you feel like you have control, um, because you know, the garden is here. This is all about what you want to create. Um, and what you want to see grow in your life. And of course, if you're going to be spending your money all the time, you don't, you're not going to be creating anything. If anything, you're going to just be creating more debt. So I do feel like for some of you, this is more about like juggling more than one person. Um, for others of you, this is also about juggling money and creating, um, growth for yourself, um, for the future. So, um, of course, you know, for each of you, I do feel like it's going to resonate differently. Let's also pull in a romance angel card. See what we have for Pisces for the month of February. Okay. New love. And it says a person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh, wow. Pisces. There is definitely going to be some new love coming in this month. That's exciting. Um, let's also see um, from the whispers of love deck what card we have here for pisces and this one says embrace your emotions allow your feelings to surface and be accepted so i do feel like you know you want to really be in touch with how you feel about certain people and about different situations um and you know that will help to guide you to make these choices about you know what it is that you want in your life and you know if, if this person that's coming towards you is the right person or if they're not um 
And also from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck, we got Miracle. And I do feel like there is like a miracle being um, in the midst here. It's like almost like something is being divinely guided. And it could be this new love. It could be where um, this new surprise that's coming in. Um, this could be an actual miracle, a blessing in the sky. So definitely keep your mind open for that. I hope, um, you know, it's going to be all exciting. Definitely comment. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Um, but yes, Pisces, enjoy this month. Enjoy this new love. Like really have some time to enjoy yourself and be free. But, you know, also explore your options here. So I think it's going to be a good month for you guys. Guys, um, definitely comment below and like and, and subscribe and also share these videos with anyone that you know could also benefit from these videos as well. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful February and I will see you again next month. Take care. Bye.